Few wonders of the old movie palaces brought more shippery pleasure to audiences than the theater organ. Part one-man band, part symphony orchestra, and part sound effects, the organ was one of the most versatile instruments ever devised by man. There were numerous mates, but to the average moviegoer, as it rose up out of the pit at intermission with a roar that made the marrow dance in one's bones, if rows of colored stop tabs lit by hidden light like a rainbow above the flawless dental work of the keyboard, if it could imitate anything from a brass band to a choir of angels, gee dad, it was a whirlitzer. Locally, theater organs have gone the primrose path of obscurity, most from the few true theaters that remain in Toledo. But at the State Theater on Collingwood Boulevard, a group of theater organ enthusiasts have renovated the old Marr and Colton, the last theater organ in the city. Today they gave a concert celebrating their charter in the American Theater Organist Society. And if you're over 45 and can remember the good old days of the theater, the concert by John Murray of Detroit would have brought back memories as the old mastodon rose from the pit for the hour of memories. The restoration process began two and one half years ago, and Rick Schindel, the young man responsible for the renovation, says the instrument was irreparable when he found it. We found the instrument was totally unplayable. And how long did it take to rebuild it? A total of about a year and a half to two years. And how much? <laughs> how much what? Money. How much money? More labor than money. The money was about as nominal. Who did all the work? Did you? Well, much of it was myself, and a lot was friends, even friends that would just come down to keep company. The organ was as much a part of the old opulent movie palaces as the electric lights that danced around the marquee. Inside the theater, the music seemed to bubble up and soar into the darkness of the balcony. And far below, the organist was perched in the maw of the great golden console. And this tradition is being preserved here in Toledo by these interested citizens in the American Theater Organist Society. It is an organization interested in the preservation of a bygone era. And the old pipe organ here at the State Theater is kind of a dying voice of a dead past. Bill Coyne, Toledo 11 News, at the State Theater on Collingwood.